I am born and raised here, so um, I am from Bado. I've seen it grow tremendously. My name is Vanessa Torres. I am a nurse here at Baldo Elementary. I've been working with the district for three years and I've been here in Baldo for three years. My name is Veronica Ramos and uh, um, I've been uh, working with, I say like Gadsden School District for more than 35 years. My name is Marisa Lucero and I am the developmental skills teacher at Baldo Elementary. My name is Valerie Concha and I am a sixth grade teacher here at Vado Elementary. My favorite memory of Nurse Torres is when I was very sick and I didn't know what was wrong. She took care of me and kept me very calm. My message to Nurse Torres would be thank you for all you do for Vado and I appreciate um, you taking care of us students. Uh, Nurse Torres has great rapport with our students. Like I said, a lot of them have uh, multiple disabilities or a lot of medical needs. Um, some are nonverbal and blind, but she, I feel like they, they recognize her voice. They're used to hearing her. She comes in regularly into the classroom. I was a former social worker uh, for five years before I went back to college to pursue my dream to become a nurse. What makes nurse Dora's such a great, fantastic nurse, is that she is so involved with every one of the students that she comes into contact with. Um, great follow-up with teachers, parents, and students. I have several asthma students that she takes care of, so we're always in constant communication, and it's just a pleasure to have her on top of things. Working here at Baldo, the children are wonderful, very talented, very eager learners, and I love their individualized personalities. They always leave a memory in my heart. And I mean, she's just, uh, you know, a wonderful human being because pretty soon it's my time, you know, to retire. I would like to, you know, just know her that she's a very wonderful human being and that. I wish her the best, you know, wherever she goes because, uh, you know, she has, you know, a lot of love to give to everybody and she has a lot of patience and she's just, you know, a, a wonderful person, you know, to have as everybody a friend. Everybody just kind of like opened their arms to me, so I'm very thankful for, to be here, especially because this is my community. What I enjoy most about my job here in the elementary is working with the children. When we have to call the ambulance when there's uh, medical emergencies. She's always calm. She has trained us well on how to handle different situations and we feel like I can trust her. She has a good relationship with the parents. I enjoy the fact that they feel open to coming into my office and it's like I always tell them the door is always open for you. I'm here for you. Miss Ramos is here for you. We're here for anything that you need and we'll try our best to help you. So the inspiration and motivation that helps me stay positive and work so hard is doing what I love. And as being a nurse, I love to help, whether that is medically, emotionally, or just being there as support for them. I would like Ms. Torres to know that even though we don't often see her during the day because she's in her office and we're in our classrooms that we know how hard she works and we totally appreciate her hard work it shows in how the school is run parents that's the biggest thing that stands out with with nurse torres is just her dedication i love the nurse what makes her such a good nurse is that every time we go to asthma check she has a small conversation with us what makes Miss Torres such a good nurse is that when we're her and we need her, she's always there for us and she makes us feel safe when we're her. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, I appreciate everything you're doing for us. She's built this relationship with the parents, with the students, with us and no matter what, how difficult the situation is, even the loss of a student, um, she's always been there and she always keeps that relationship with the family and with, with us. This is 
this is my purpose and why I went to school, why I'm here today is to help. And I love working with children. They have so many questions. They, they, uh, they come to us a lot for, for help and um, I love to help.